When you begin to think about selling or buying real estate, do you hire the brokerage or do you hire that particular agent? Good morning, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the senior broker and the team lead with Team Rennick Real Estate Services. We're part of that great Keller Williams on the Water family, serving Sarasota, Bradenton, and the entire west coast of Florida. Good morning, it's November 1st. Welcome to Mike Takes the Glove Off, the November 1st edition. It's really hard to believe that October has passed. Halloween was last night, and there's only two months left in the year. It won't be long, and we'll be looking at 2019. Here are my thoughts when you set out to hire someone to help you with your real estate um, proposition. I believe you want to hire the agent. If you have a successful agent out there in the market, he or she is going to be successful no matter which brokerage they work for. It really comes down to the agent, the motivation, the tools that they use, the value proposition, things like that. Do the brokerages support the agents? Absolutely. Do they support them differently? Sure, each brokerage is different in what they offer, but it comes down to what's inside the agent. For example, can your agent, when you begin to talk to them, offer their value proposition? How are they different? What will they do for you that most agents won't do? If they can't answer that question, I propose it doesn't matter which brokerage they work for, they probably are not going to be the strongest agent. They have to have a plan, they have to know where they're going. Like for example, it, it's, it's simple to, to really break it down when you, when you take some time to think about it. We have a, a three-prong attack here at Team Running. <coughs> Excuse me. We use the tools that have worked in the past. They're, they haven't all gone away. Many of them have, and we discard those. But the ones that work, we still use. We stay on top of all the leading edge, cutting edge technology because we can do a better job faster, do better research for you by using those. But the secret is the key to the success of the team and our growth rate has been combining that with plain old fashioned hard work. Now, does it really matter which brokerage I work for so that I can implement the three of those? Quite honestly, it doesn't. Last year at this time, we were negotiating with four national brokerages. They had seeked us out. We weren't looking to merge. We weren't looking to, to stop the independent agency that Eric and I ran, but we entertained the offers. And the question that Eric and I said would be most important to us is which brokerage would allow us the flexibility to continue to grow our business model and refine it as we've been doing for eight years. The second question was, is which brokerage would support us in terms of education and growth so that we could continue to grow? In other words, we didn't want someone that would, would be a highly corporate structure where it would tell you what to do. We had a unique model that was working. We wanted to continue that. So we chose Keller Williams, and this is not a Keller Williams commercial, but I'm proud to wear Keller Williams shirts. I'm proud to be a Keller Williams associate broker because they do that. They give us the flexibility to um, develop our model to continue to grow and they provide outstanding educational opportunities. But let's put that aside for a second. If your agent isn't one that wants to partake in that, it doesn't matter what name's on the front of the brokerage. It really, in my opinion, comes down to what's the name of that agent. And the agent either has the self-motivation, the self-direction, the desire to learn, the desire to exceed, not meet, but exceed your customer expectations. It doesn't have anything to do with the sign on the front of the building. It has to do with that agent. If you go to hire an attorney or you go to hire a dentist or a doctor, I think many of us look at that individual. Can they perform the service that we need? Are they great in their field? Can they give us the level of, of service and protection that we're looking for? If we hire that individual, it's the same thing with a real estate agent. If you look at the large brokerages, it's like a bell-shaped curve. They have agents at the, the, the far right in the outstanding, the top 10%, doing a great job. They all do. And they have what we call the middle in terms of agents that are working hard and performing at a very admirable level. But they're still in the middle of the pack in terms of performance. And they have also agents, they all have them, that are down on the left-hand side of that bell-shaped curve that are not performers. So when it really comes down to it, if they all have the same thing and they offer different things and they say, you know, this is our advantage, all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't matter 
if the agent doesn't reach out and leverage those things. You take the top agents here in the Sarasota Bradington market. The no matter where they work, their approach isn't going to change. So when you look at hiring your agent, first of all, you're hiring a professional. You're looking for someone that can share with you why they're different than others. And you're looking for someone that has a plan. Do they understand the market? You know, the market is shifting. We do a market update every Monday morning and we're starting to see, ver see variability in the numbers. It isn't everything just all rosy at this point. So your agent to get you the best deal, whether you're a buyer or a seller, has to understand the market. And they have to do that on their own. There isn't going to be a magical broker that sits above me that's going to come down and impart all this knowledge. Now, they provide the tools so that I can study that market. I'm very grateful that they do that. That's another reason why we chose Keller Williams. But if I don't take the time to understand the market, I can't leverage it for the client. So we were independents for eight years, and we developed a business model through trial and error. We refined it. It kept working. Our, we kept growing. Four national chains thought there was something there. The reason we're sitting where we are today is because there was a win-win benefit between Keller Williams, Eric Teo, and Mike Rennick. But at the end of the day, nobody watches what time I come into the office. Nobody watches what time I leave. Nobody watches whether I show up for a client appointment on time. Nobody watches the amount of research that Eric and I put into working with our clients. It all comes down to us. So at the end of the day, my opinion is you hire the agent, not the brokerage. What's your opinion? I'd like to learn more. Again, thank you for tuning in to the November 1st edition of Mike Takes the Gloves Off. I hope these topics are provocative. They're thought-provoking and something that adds value in terms of you when you enter the real estate process. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We offer our personal cell phone numbers. It's 941 400 8735. All of my clients have access to that. My email is mike at teamrennick.com. Feel free to reach out. Let us know how we can help. Have a great Thursday, and I hope the weekend that's coming up is fantastic for everyone. Take care.